It's true that the concept of disc golf has a very long and blurry history, and its origins, like most sports, likely come from several different places, since throwing objects can date back to a very long time ago. Therefore, the history of disc golf isn't 100% clear, but we've done our best to siphon through the information to give you as clear of a picture as possible from past to present. Now, the history of disc golf can date back to the late 1800s or the early 1900s, depending on where you get your information. In the early 1800s, it was said that in Connecticut, delivery drivers from the company Frisbee Pie would pass the time by taking their empty pie trays and throwing them to one another to pass the time. However, another account for the origins of disc golf dates back to the early 1900s, when people began throwing pie tins and other similar objects for fun. The first indications of this happened in Bladworth, Saskatchewan, when Ronald Franklin Gibson and a group of his friends from elementary school played a game called Tin Lid Golf. This game involved throwing four foot wide tin circled lids into sand patches found on the school grounds. In the 1920s and 1930s, people began playing a similar game using frisbees, which were originally designed as a toy by the American inventor Walter Frederick Morrison. Morrison had made a few iterations of plastic flying object toys, but he eventually created the first ever frisbee, the Pluto Platter. He drove around the country promoting his frisbee invention dressed in a space suit, since the interest in space was very popular at the time. Eventually, he sold the rights to the Pluto Platter in 1956 to Whammo, and the following year, they began mass producing frisbees that he originally designed. Now, it wasn't until the 60s that the sport really began to take shape. During that time, several frisbee events were held, which included games like Guts, Freestyle, Frisbee Dog, and Ultimate Frisbee. In 1965, a whammo sponsored frisbee golf tournament was held in Newport Beach, California. This highly publicized tournament included hula hoops as holes, with published rules, hole lengths, pars, and prizes. It was an event in which Walter Frederick Morrison, the frisbee inventor, attended. By the early 70s, there were many object hole disc golf tournaments being held independently. Tournaments took place in Michigan, New York, California, Toronto, and Vancouver, without any of them having had any contact with one another. In 1974, the first ever World Frisbee Championships were held at the Rose Bowl in Pasadena, California, but target hitting Frisbee golf was not included. It wasn't until the following year in 1975 that target hitting Frisbee golf was added to the Rose Bowl as an official event. Once again, objects were used as targets for the tournament and was won by a player named Tom Kennedy. In 1979, the DGA and Whammo held a $50,000 prize pool disc golf tournament in Huntington Beach, California. This was a significant turning point for disc golf, not only because of the payout, but also because the competitors had to qualify for an invitational, with 72 qualifying events being held around the country. It was once again won by Tom Kennedy. In 1981, the final Rose Bowl World Frisbee Championships were held, which was followed in 1982 by the first ever PDGA World Disc Golf Championships in Pasadena, California. This time, the event was won by Harold Duvall. It was after this tournament that the seeds of the first PDGA Disc Golf Tournament began, with an official PDGA Pro Tour being established the following year. In the years that followed, many disc golf manufacturers began to pop up, creating their own take on the flying discs. For instance, Discraft released the Sky Streak, and Innova Champion released their first disc, the Eagle. The Eagle was a game changer in technology, since it was designed with a beveled edge and a lower profile that helped improve distance, wind resistance, and angle control. Finally, shot shaping was now a possibility, and it quickly became the go-to distance driver for disc golf. Since then, disc golf manufacturers have made thousands of different molds for a wide range of players and shot types, all thanks to the improved technology introduced by the Innova Eagle. One of the earliest known public disc golf courses was established in 1975 at Oak Grove Park in Pasadena, California, which is best known as the Mecca of disc golf. The course was designed by Steady Ed Hedrick, who is often referred to as the father of disc golf for his contributions to the sport. Hedrick was a toy designer who had been instrumental in the development of the modern Frisbee and saw the potential for a new sport that combined elements of golf and Frisbee throwing. In 1976, Hendrick founded what would eventually become the Professional Disc Golf Association, which is still the governing body for the sport today. The PDGA established rules, standards, and rating systems for disc golf tournaments, which helped popularize the sport around the world. Hendrick and his son were also the inventors of the first disc golf target, 
which was basically just a pole sticking out of the ground. But later, they added vertical rows of chains to help catch the discs in all directions. Today, there are over 7,000 disc golf courses installed throughout the world, and the majority of them use the same baskets that Hendrick originally designed. In 2009, the disc golf flight rating system was developed by Joe Wander, a disc golfer and software developer in collaboration with the disc manufacturer Innova. The system was designed to provide a standardized and objective way of comparing the flight characteristics of different discs and to help players choose the right disc for their needs. To determine the flight rating of a given disc, Innova and Wander conducted extensive testing using a combination of computer simulations and real-world trials. Since its introduction, the Disc Golf flight rating system has become widely adopted by disc manufacturers and players around the world, and it's now considered the industry standard for comparing disc flight characteristics. In recent years, the sport has continued to grow, with more courses being built, more players joining the PDGA, and more tournaments being held. In 2021, the PDGA reported over 100,000 registered members worldwide, and disc golf was included as a demonstration sport in the 2021 Summer Olympics in Tokyo, Japan. In the same year, we also saw the first ever unprecedented signing of the biggest disc golf contract ever received by professional player Paul Macbeth. He signed a 10-year contract with Discraft for $10 million, which opened the floodgates to a new era of earnings for disc golf professionals. Slowly but surely, more players are now receiving higher pay, helping them become more sustainable in their craft while also helping elevate the sport to new world heights. Today, disc golf is played by millions of people of all ages and skill levels, with the sport continuing to evolve with new rules, disc types, brands, and courses. The sport has truly come a long way since its humble beginnings, but it remains true to its roots as a fun and accessible game that can be played by anyone, anywhere. So we hope you enjoyed this brief history of the origins of disc golf. And if there's something we missed or something we got wrong, be sure to let us know in the comments below. And of course, if you like this video, you know exactly what to do. Thanks for watching Justice. We'll see you in the next one. Merci beaucoup et à bientôt.